Oh, hello, David Zerutsky for the Bond Experience. We just have time for a quick frugal Bond moment, and it's a good thing that we're gonna make it quick because I just picked this up at the front desk, and uh, I think somebody's trying to kill you. Well, you can tell from that opening that we are talking about Quantum of Solace. This is a pretty quick one today, but it is a frugal Bond moment. And of course, we've got to bring back our friend Daniel Love from Royal Filmware. There's his website. you got to check it out because today we are reviewing the James Bond Quantum of Solace Haiti jacket. Now, you are already familiar with this outfit. I know you are. This is not a frugal outfit. Uh, it's the Tom Ford shirt. It's got that little swing. I know, I know, Harrington people... We'll talk about it eventually. Um, but I've got the Prada belt on, cross stitch, and I've got cross hatch, hatch, something. Hmm, bear with me. It's Sunday. Uh, I've got the uh, silver birch Levi jeans on, and I don't know if you can see it. Wow, that's flexible. Um, I've got the churches, uh, I've got the churches suede shirt. So I've got all the parts and the pieces of here, but let's bring in our friend. Look at this. So this is the correct jacket. This is the screen accurate, not screen used, screen accurate jacket from Quantum of Solace. Now, why do we know this is the screen accurate jacket? Um, I don't know if the camera can pick it up. I'll try to bring it in close. But that Y3, this is Y3. Now, I'm not asking a question of Y3. This is Y3. You can see the inside right there. It's got the Y3 on it. And this is a jacket that everybody took a little bit to find, but here it is. And I'm going to try it on because I want everybody to see kind of what it looks like. Now, as I do this, interesting thing about fit with this Y3 jacket. First of all, the Y3 jacket is rare. It is incredibly hard to find. It's a couple people that have traded up a size or down a size, but if you can find the correct one, um, mazel tov to you. It is really, really difficult. But one of the things that you should notice and really talk about is fit. Now, in the movie, there's kind of two different fits of this Y3 jacket. There's what I call the shirt jacket fit. It's pretty tight up here. You can see when Bond's riding the motorcycle, um, he's got kind of that shirt jacket look. And by the way, look at how long <laughs> these arms are. They're pretty long, but that's because these are for bikes. So you want them to be a little bit long. So it actually does have that nice fit. Um, the silhouette is, is good. It's fitted. It's not too fitted. And you can see the back doesn't cinch too much in the back. Um, it's got these adjustable buttons. I probably could go one more to make it even more fitted, but I'm pretty comfortable right now. This is a size small. It's actually called an SP, probably for petite. So the small size I thought fit me really well. It's not too big. It's not flowing. They took off the Y3 emblem in the movie, and I think they had two different sizes because they have kind of a baggier version when he first gets this after fighting Mr. Slate. It was a dead end, I don't know if you knew that. But the reality is, is again, you can't find these. Along to the rescue, Daniel Love. And Daniel Love has come out with now the Haiti jacket. Now, there's been some amazing improvements, and I'm gonna grab the jacket right now, but I don't think there's ever been a head-to-head -head discussion of the Y3 jacket and how it compares to Daniel's jacket. So we're going to do it. Um, let me bring it up close. You're probably going to get me cut off, but I really want you to see the jacket. All right. Let's see if we could do that here. First of all, we'll talk about the color. Um, the color is great. Um, this, the Daniel one is a very dark black. This is also a very dark black. It has the tiniest bit of uh, charcoal in it, but the reality is, is that the, the black color is extremely close. So as far as color is concerned, it really has hit the mark. Now, I don't know if we can see this close or not, but let's talk about the zippers. Uh, the zippers on here, can we see that close or is it very difficult? I can bring it in closer. 
Yeah? Okay. Um, the zippers are very close. Obviously, Daniel went out there and hunted. The Y3 has a little bit squarer of a zipper. It's a little bit more rectangle than this one, than the Daniel one. But the lower zipper, because this is a two zipper jacket, so you can sit down in it. Um, and the nice thing is, it's also flat black, just like Daniel's. The zip itself is flat black, so as far as zippers concerned, it's pretty dead on. Let's talk about the tab. So you've got this lovely tab collar up here. This is where you really see things have gotten really cool. So the tabs, same size, same angle. You know, there's some tabs out there that are a little bit rounded, but these have a very, very similar uh, tab look to them, which is great. Um, so great job on that one. And then even the, the, uh, the button uh, collar where the tab goes to is, is pretty much dead on. The collar itself is perfect. So, you know, the collar shape, um, how it points out as opposed to rounded, looking really good. Now, where the rubber hits the road of this jacket is the back, because you've seen a lot of frugal versions of this, but the reality is, is that the back is where people always make mistakes. So what I'm gonna point out in this back is, I'm actually gonna try this one on and let's see if we can get everything in camera. So this is, first of all, this is a size medium that I'm trying on, and we are gonna be talking about fit. All right, so like I said, the back, let's check it out. What's nice is, and hopefully the detail you can see is, these little ridges right here, they exist on the back, and the back has this nice gathering right here. It's not too tight, but what I love about it is it's got all the correct buttons, all the correct tabs, the correct shape. And that's a big deal because you've got to have the right shape with this to have it even somewhat comparable to the Y3. Let's put that puppy aside for a second because we're here to talk about this one. So here's the medium. Now this is interesting because I know a lot of you are saying out there, great, which, which size do I take? Do I take the medium, the small? All right, let's go over this again. I vacillate between a 38 to a 40 US, which translation is a 48, 50 European. Nowadays, um, mostly 50 and a 40, as far as my size is concerned with my chest, and I've got a 31 inch waist, all right? So that'll give you kind of the, the view of what's going on here. You can see that the silhouette on this is pretty good. Um, I'm very satisfied with the medium. The arms aren't too long, but they're long enough to replicate the Y3, so we'll stand to the side for a moment. Um, you've seen the back, the back has fantastic movement, all right? And the front fits very well. Now, by the way, I took a steamer to this. First pictures that came out, I did not, so it was all wrinkled, but I think this has gotten a lot better. And by the way, the material, I didn't talk about the material. The material is nearly dead on. Um, there's a slight thickness, um, I wanna almost call it a, a slight more coarseness to the uh, Royal one than the original Y3. But I think over time that could be the sizing agent and I'm sure that will disperse. Now, let's talk about fit. This is a little bit of a preference situation. So right now I'm replicating probably the fit of um, when he fights and he gets the jacket for the first time. He fights Slate, he goes down, he collects his, uh, his briefcase and he's got that kind of fit because there's a little bit of room in here. If, and here we go, so that's the medium. If I wanted the motorcycle version, or when he's on the boat with Camille, Camille, um, I would probably go, I would probably go for the small. Now, here is the fit of the small. You're gonna say to yourself, David, are you sure you didn't just try on a medium? Because it's not hugely different. This is about subtleties and nuance. So let me take the small, and you can already see that in the body, it hugs tighter, okay? You can see here, this is now more like a shirt, and it's more like a fitted shirt. So from a comfort standpoint, I would probably stick with the medium, um, and that's what Daniel's telling everybody is, you know, definitely take your size. Don't try to go down too fitted, or you might feel a little shrink wrapped. But if you could take a look in the back, there's a little bit of puckering, if I bring it up like that, like it did in the movie, it's a little bit less, but there's a nice gathering that's going on here. But this looks more like 
kind of the motorcycle scene because he does he wears as you could see those pictures in the beginning it looks a little bit more like a shirt so if i wanted to replicate that look if i wanted that kind of some people call it a shrink wrap look i would go with the small what am i sticking with i'm sticking with the medium because i want a little bit of room i don't think i'm giving up too much on the sizing and I think it looks great. Now, obviously, I'm a big fan of this. Um, Daniel's always making improvements. I do wanna talk a little bit about this jacket because the interior, I always love his interiors. You can see right here, he's got the royal emblem. Love that puppy. Um, but look at this, it's got a zip on the inside to hold your car keys or yeah, Slate's phone, whatever. Uh, but you also have a pocket on the other side, which is really nice. The interior is, is incredibly well done. I mean, what I like about this is even though this is a replica of movie wardrobe, Daniel doesn't skimp on the details or the materials. And why is that? Because he's a fan. He wants these clothing and jacket pieces to begin with. So, um, you know, I always like to give the kind of the thumbs up I think you knew, saw this coming, obviously, with my enthusiasm, is I give this a thumbs up. I think it's great that everybody can own the Haiti jacket. It is a frugal bond moment. Um, if you want the jacket, it's still available here, I believe, depending on when you see this video. This stuff sells out pretty quickly, but uh, there's more coming from Royal Filmware, which is pretty exciting, and who knows, maybe even something from Quantum of Solace. So anyway, this has been David Zeritsky for the James Bond, Quantum of Solace, Haiti Jacket, that's a mouthful, and we will see you very soon. Take care. Oh, hey, you're still here. I didn't even know. Uh, you listen, while you're here, uh, if you want, I, I, so I would actually go to this button right here and click on it because then you actually subscribe to our vlogs. It's amazing. Um, you get to see all the upcoming stuff first, you get notifications, it screams at you while you're at work, it's absolutely amazing. Just click on this button, hit subscribe, just move your cursor, move, 